Okay, so this is going to be how to texture swap in The Last of Us Part 1. And I'm going to be swapping the textures of Sarah's shirt, which I haven't done yet, but I think we can make it work. So I would say the first step is figure out which model it is you want to swap. So I decided I wanted to do Sarah's shirt, which is an SP common, the pack SP common. And I mean, like for Ellie and Joel, they have a bunch of different outfits and they're like normally like name something weird. So like, for instance, Ellie, uh, like what shirt would that be? So I'm just going to load it in Oasis. And for some reason, it gives me glitches when I try and load texture. So I just want to see the model. And I can see, okay, so it's her Seattle shirt that's uh, this one. So that's good to know. Um, but what I want to do was Sarah's shirt. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is, well, I figured out it's an SP common, the Parsec. And so first I'm going to go in there, find it. It's in Actor 97 of SP common. But what I actually figured out recently is you you want to replace the texture in that pack, but you don't want to get the texture out from that pack. So before what I was doing was when I use the texture browser from uh, Specializer's Discord, uh, I would load this pack, for instance, and I would be like, why are the textures so low res? So like, here's all the textures in this pack. It's got her arms, it's got burnt, it's got her shirt, but it's like 64 by 64 pixels. And I was like, why the heck is it so low? And then I just realized um, that's not where you want to export the textures. It is where you're going to inject them, but it's not where you're going to export them from. So I need this texture. I don't have it. Where am I going to get it? We're going to go to SP Common where Sarah's shirt is. We're going to go to the Texture Dict 3. And it's in one of these. I already checked this one. I know it's not in there. Let's try one. And it's going to load. It's going to take a minute. And in this program, you can actually search by name. So you can search by color, normal, AO. But I'm going to search by... I don't even need to... I'm going to search by Sarah. So it's not in there. We're going to try the next one. If I search Sarah... It's there. Okay, so here we have her uh, pants, we got her feet, her little toenails, feet color. Okay, I see you. Um, we got her dead face textures. Okay, so I want this one. And her shirt has, the color is obviously the most important. Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't do Sarah because doesn't seem I'm just search if there's a Sarah blend okay there is good so I'm gonna export this texture I need the blend mask we're gonna just export the DDS and then we want the color as well those are the most important I feel like for like t-shirts uh, so we're gonna take the t-shirt color and we're gonna export that and that's just going to come right back into where your texture browser is. Uh, so... Oh, oh, it was right here. Okay, so, so it was SP common dick 2, so it's these two. Um, so now I'm going to open those in Photoshop. And for Photoshop, it normally won't open DDS textures. You need... Uh, you need a plugin. You need an Intel plugin. The Intel DDS, just search Intel DDS plugin for Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, um, pirate it. I don't know. So let me just open that up. Let me 
just copy the Gonna open I don't need to edit this one, but I'll open it anyway just to show you. So I f to edit this, as you can see it's backwards. If I wanted to like make sure that I have like a graphic on it, like what should I put on it? Um I have no idea. Let's put Pepe the frog on it. Let me search up a pe picture of Pepe. First, I'm going to take this image and I'm gonna. Uh, where the fuck is it? Unlock that. And I'm gonna flip it vertical. Because when you flip it vertical, that's the way you can see it flip the right way. So I'm going to take this picture of Pepe. Thank you. I'm just going to put it on. And, you know, I'm going to do my edits. Let's just make it darker, too. Because this is just a test. Um, make that a little cuter, actually. I'm going to just make her head Pepe. Uh, solution. So beautiful. That is beautiful, honestly. Give me one second to make this just so beautiful, like you won't even believe. So for Ellie's shirts, um... You know, I'll try and do it on this one. Ellie's shirts have, like, a logo on them. So, let me see if I can open that one. Uh, and I guess it doesn't show it. But she has, like, okay. I, <laughs> like, the logo will be, like, blacked out in, like, the blend mask. Like, see how Sarah's is blacked out? That's because... They're trying to make a differentiation between this type of fabric and this type of fabric. So when Ellie's is black and white, let me find a freaking example. Ellie blend here. Okay, so here, perfect. So by showing this, uh, the black is going to be more shiny. And the white is going to be more fabric-like. So you basically want to like have your logo be black and have the rest of the shirt be white. And you want to like copy over the mask. Basically, like if I was going to do this, I would do like, it's different sh uh, resolutions. But I would like copy over the picture of Pepe. I'll put a black mask over it and put it onto the, the white so that it would be shiny so that it would like look more natural because otherwise if you don't edit this it's gonna like have the the paw in the background like shiny when you don't want it to be and you want to look like your logo so anyway i think that looks great but we gotta remember switch it back to the way it was for oh my god sorry <laughs> canvas uh image Okay, so now I'm going to save that. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to put it actually in my modding folder. Uh, so I'm going to make a new modding folder. I'm going to say Sarah Shirts. And so it doesn't matter what you name it now like you can save it as Sarah shirt one color whatever it doesn't actually matter what you name it as which is kind of unique for modding i feel like because normally you need to like keep the name the same and it'll replace but the the program's going to take care of that so i'm just going to say Sarah shirt one pepe and in my whole drop down i actually have two for dds and this would like mess me up i don't want the nvidia one i want the intel one because when you save it this comes up and right now it's having it save as a normal map which i don't want if i edited the normal map then yes i want it a bc5 normal map but i don't i want it color 
and you want BC1 for BPP, whatever the fuck, linear, for a color. And if it was a black and white blend mask, like the Sarah shirt blend mask, then you don't want it BC1, you want it BC4 for linear grayscale, and, and because that'll make it black and white. But for this one, we want BC1, so I'm going to save that. And I put it in my Sarah shirts. So now I'm going to go back into my texture browser. And we we already extracted what we needed from the, the texture dict. And which well, is like dictionary or whatever the fuck. So in SP Common, going back after 97, I want to put it back into Sarah. Though... You don't want to just like replace it willy nilly because this is where I extracted all my stuff. So I don't really want to um, replace it and not have the original anymore. So actually, let me just grab that. So Sarah Costa, let me just copy this and put it back into my Sarah shirts. And we're going to go open it up from there. I'm going to open this. So it's got all this shit in it. But these are embedded. That's why they're small. I'm going to find the shirt color. And I'm going to replace it. And what am I going to replace it with? My beautiful Pepe shirt. Texture injected. Great. Thank you. So now it's injected into this pack. And how do we get the pack into the game? Um, so this has been edited. And I'm just going to copy over what I did for one of my previous mods. So I'm going to take my my Ellie shirts. Uh, that's the wrong one. I'm going to inject them with Fluffy Mod Manager. Let me just take it from Fluffy then. Okay, so I have my mods. That's the wrong mod stuff. I have it. There we go. My mod manager games to to lo mods. Let me just copy over Abby shirts for Ellie. So. In my Sarah shirts, I'm going to just copy over this file structure. I'm going to rename it Sarah Pepe shirt. And I'm going to copy this. No, I don't need that. I need the pack, not the texture. Just copy it. So build, it's just the way it has to be set up. Build, PC, main, actor 97. I guess that's just where I put it. But anyway, delete all the old ones. Put this one in. Mm, I'm, thinking, I'm like, are we sure it doesn't have to go to SP Common anymore? I guess not. Hopefully not. I'll, I, I'll cut this out if that is not true. But okay, I think that's right. <laughs> Probably. So I'm going to copy this folder. Put in here. Which is in Fluffy. Hello. And I'm going to open up Fluffy. So here's what I have enabled. Sarah Pepe shirt shows up. We're going to enable it. it. Says it copied one path in, which it just copied the one Sarah shirt. So let's see if that launches. Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to show an example. Um, I did this texture edit, made this graphic, put it on, and as you can see, it's shiny. So, uh, when you look at it in the light, it'll, like, reflect more. And another thing that I was conscientious of was when I was doing these texture swaps is, uh, with these shirts, there's little frays on the colors, and I wasn't quite sure where that texture is but i knew that each of these sh that was my cat i knew that each of these shirts um already were in this color scheme so i replaced shirts that were in similar color schemes so that it wouldn't be like a red shirt and then it would have like a black tear on it i'm sure you can find this 
texture somewhere. I wasn't sure where it was. Um, so that's why I tried, like, I looked up, okay, this is the color scheme. I'm going to match it with my purple shirt so it doesn't look off. And I'll also quick show that. So this is the logo, and I copied over this PNG or however I had it. And over here, I made it like a dark gray. I didn't make it black because black would have been too shiny. And I felt like having the dark gray was just shiny enough. Like it was just like pressed onto the shirt. So that's how I had it. Okay, we load up the game and look at that. She's wearing her Pepe shirt. That's how you do it, folks. You're welcome. Sunday at work, huh? Uh, like, follow, subscribe. Still doing that. Thank it's late. you. Crud, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please not right now. I do not.